These are the mounts that I picked up off a guy who sells them on YouTube. He, uh, the mount comes with this support and this one. You tell him how big your, uh, how wide your panels are. And he designed them to hold two panels, regular panels. I put one a piece on, that way they're stronger. I get a lot of wind where I'm at. But they allow you to adjust very easily here. I think it's a mount from a big satellite dish, but you just loosen these and you can swing it side to side and this guy lets you go up and down. So what I did, these wires are exposed to here. They have to be anyway. And this is the way the rain falls. They never, they've never gotten wet out here ever. So it's not, and they don't get any sunshine either. But anyways, I've got a meter. Craftsman makes a meter that'll actually clamp on and give you amps by even DC amps. All of them will do AC, but DC was a tough one to get. Anyways, uh, I'm a ham, so I guess I'm used to tuning antennas. So I put the, uh, someone's watching me do my video. That's Pee Wee, yes. Anyways, um, I put a meter on here. I loosen all this up, and I do it at noon on a good day. Like, I'll have to adjust these pretty soon down for the, um, <clears throat> for the uh, winter time because they'll want to be at a lower angle, but I just adjust them down for maximum current. And I get rated current on them on a regular basis as long as, you know, God's working with me and we got sunshine. But even if I don't have sunshine, I still get something. Like the other day we had total overcast, I went and looked, and this is an array that should give me 1,000 watts. I was getting 280 watts out of them, which isn't bad for total cloud cover like a day like today. Um, do I know that much about them? Not really. They're sharp. They're made in America. That's why I bought them. Um, I don't know if that gives you a picture you can look at. If you pause that, you can read it. Um, I don't really understand the difference between all the panels. Maybe I just got lucky. Who knows? But I like them. But I was going to send this to somebody who had these out in the meadow. He's trying to keep this going. And these are inexpensive. I remember right. They're only $50, $55 a piece. They get them up off the ground, so I never have any animals dealing with them and makes it very adjustable you know this conduit that i ran is inexpensive it's cheap hardest works trenching it but now it's a nice professional installation it's done i don't have to worry about it so just to give you a heads up it's the way i did it you know i know you can build some wood things to do but you can't mow under those i mean i'm not a freak about mowing but you know you don't want it to grow up over them you know those worked good for me and those commercial mounts that I bought for my little panels and I bought them, that guy really took me for a ride on those. Those guys, I won't say where I bought them from. I mean, they're good, but they're expensive, and you have to replace the piece to adjust them, for. because I'll have to adjust those down now for winter. What I've done is I've got a piece of PVC pipe I've cut, and I adjusted those same way then measured where it had to be and just built the PVC pipes. But the PVC worked just fine on the bottom. But he charged me $50 a piece for those little tiny mounts. And they're all, uh, nothing to them compared to this other mount that I have. So I like these. Someday I'm going to take those little panels off. And those I am going to put two of them on a pole. And I'm going to mount them down here <laughs> so I have more control over them. And I can deal with them without getting up on the forklift. Well, there you go. Hope that's some good information for you.